I'm going to attempt to create a video to talk about surface modeling and how to create solids from it. There was a question about solids and how it relates, uh, surface modeling relates to creating solid objects. So I'm, I'm going to do this. I, I don't know if it'll help some people. Obviously, we know that any feature you create, you can create it as a solid or as a surface. I'm going to use an extruded box um, to explain the, the idea behind surface modeling and how to create a solid model from them. I know it's a super simplified example, but I care more about the principles behind how merging surfaces and using solidify command uh, yields a solid object from surfaces rather than how complex it is. If you understand these principles, you can apply it to far more complicated shapes. Um, so what I'm going to do is just create something really quick here. Just a second. I'm going to tell it to lock scale and just make this, I don't know, six inches. And We'll just make that eight. So, what I'm going to do is create a surface. You see, I have the option here, surface. So, this is going to be an extruded rectangle, but it's a surface model. Okay. Now, when you go to no hidden mode, let me just turn off these atoms. What you're seeing here is that the purple edges are the surfaces that are currently merged together or form a constant uh, seam. The way I like to describe it is if you, you know, if this is made of cardboard, uh, this will be the tape that will keep the car these cardboard pieces stuck together. And if you look at the top edge, let me switch to annotation mode here so it doesn't flash on me, but if you look at the top edges here, there are this amber brownish gold color which means that um, there is no uh, surface um, here and therefore this is an open edge. So of course when you shade it, it makes sense because there's nothing up there. But these seams here, because they're purple, means that they are merged together, glued together, stitched together, however you want to visualize it. So the way surfacing works in most cases, uh, there's, there's always exceptions to the rule. You want to create a, a container that holds water. And the way I like to uh, think about it is if you had a container that can hold water and you put it in a freezer, uh, you end up with a, you know, the volume of water becomes solid. So if there's anything in the container that can leak, that means it won't hold water, therefore you cannot solidify it. So if we were to pick, don't show me this anymore. I love the way I've been using this version of Creole for so long and it still thinks I'm a new user. Um, let's switch back to Smart Filter. And so if you were to pick this surface, um, you see that Solidify is not an option because we have a container that will leak water the way I like or the way I like to visualize it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a, um, a a bottom piece to this rectangle. We're going to use the fill command. Okay, create a flat surface feature. I have no idea why they call it fill, but just let's just go with it. Okay. Um, so we're going to create a fill uh, uh, um, a flat surface on this bottom datum here. Okay. Let's turn the datums off so you can kind of see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is project the edges of this box. I'm just going to hold control. I'm just going to do this, this real quick. Um, this used to be called use edge um, on a while fire for, but now it's called project. And the reason they do that, I think, is because um, you don't necessarily have to when you when you use the use edge command or the project command, uh, that this it, it will it will project whatever you picked to the current sketch plane, which doesn't always have to be mating up to the edges you picked. It can be like you know a few inches away, and it will still take that edge and project it down to the surface, to the sketch plane. Uh, in this case, my sketch plane happens to lie on the same edges, so it looks kind of awkward. So when we, what we do here is we're creating a 
you know, we created a a surface on the bottom of our little box here. Okay, but when you look at it in non-shaded mode, you notice that it still has amber edges. So what we have here is a surface that is not merged to this surface. Therefore, the amber edges or the gold edges, however you want to look at it, um, they would leak water. So if I put water, if I fill this up with water, um, they will leak out of these edges. Therefore, it won't be able to hold water and it's hard for me to create a solid from that. Um, if I pick this surface, hold control and pick this surface, you notice that I have the option to merge them. If I merge them, what you get now is, it looks like nothing happened, but when you go to non-shaded mode, you see that we now have purple edges. That means that we glued, stitched, or merged these, these edges to the other surface. So if I was to pour water in there, um, it, would, uh, it would not leak down. So when you click on the merge feature here, it actually picks the two surface features that made up that merge up to that point. But, and the reason I'm doing this, I want you to notice that you still can't solidify this. And again, the, the idea and the thought here is that we still have a container that can leak water. If you turn it upside down and you, there was water in there, it'll leak down. So if we put this in the freezer, you're not going to get a solid uh, block of ice because the water won't stay there. It's leaking. So your goal or one of the ways to look at surface modeling is you're trying to create a container. Okay, so um, let's let's use that same idea and let's create a flat surface on top. Now, I understand if you create an extruded surface, you can tell it to cap the ends and, and you have a complete um, box that's merged all together. I'm doing this on purpose just to kind of go over the, the, the thought process of surface modeling, creating solids from it. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and um, define our sketch plane. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a datum plane through it from that edge, hold control to this edge. Okay, then I'm going to use that as my sketch plane. A lot of us kind of call that creating a datum on the fly, but what we're going to do now is again we're going to go to project. I'm going to pick the east top edges. Okay. And what I've done is I created a a surface fill on top. Uh, I, I added a surface. Now, in, in, in non-shaded mode, you can see we still have these gold edges, meaning that we have a piece of cardboard on top of this box, but it will still leak water. If I was to pour water in there and turn this upside down because the water will leak out of these edges, you can't really solidify it. But then again, again, if you pick the merge feature, it'll automatically pick both surface features that created that merge. You can hold control, add this surface to it, merge that. And now what I have is all purple edges, meaning all my cardboard pieces are glued, stitched, taped together in a way that water cannot leak. When you get a condition like this, and you pick on this merge feature, you notice you have the option to solidify it because now it can hold water. So when you click solidify, you now have a solid. And just one quick way to, um, to verify that, we can always do a cross section. Um, and you see here that it is a solid. Okay. In fact, you can right click on here and uh, you can deactivate, but you can also show a section um, and you can see that obviously it is a solid and then I can obviously deactivate this and turn off the section. So that's how we created a solid from those surfaces. So those same principles are, are true uh, even with complex shapes. Now if you create a, another extrude surface and we sketch it on top of this box, they are always exceptions to every rule, right? Um, if we created a another rectangle, if you will, I don't care about the dimensions at this point. Okay, um, you notice, like before, that you have amber edges in the bottom and amber edges on top. There's a difference here, though, that if we created a fill surface, and again, let me create a datum plane that doesn't exist on the fly. This, that edge, this edge. Hit OK, go to sketch. I'm just going to project these edges 
and all I'm doing is creating a flat surface right on top of there. Okay, let's finish our feature here. And again, it's got it's got gold, amber edges, but now we're going to pick the surface. Hold Control and pick that top surface. Kind of hard to see that. And we're going to merge those together. And now we have purple edges, meaning that it can hold water. But one of the things that you can get away with in solid modeling is that the fact that this bottom, um, the bottom of this rectangle is open, but because it lies on a solid surface, you can almost picture putting your hand on top of this little box and applying pressure. You can seal these edges off uh, so it can hold water. I mean, I know it's kind of a weird way of looking at it, but my point is if I pick this, even though we got this bottom edges gold, because it lies on a solid surface, it's not an open space, we can solidify as you see here in the solidify icon. So there's exceptions to the rule, so whenever you have a surface that is on, on a solid object, that particular portion of the surface doesn't necessarily need to be capped or sealed off. Um, now, of course, if we, when you do that, you have to let's turn off these surface um, the layers. So now we're just seeing this solid. And again, if we go to our model tree and activate this cross section once again you can see that is a solid so again there's a, there's exceptions to the rule but the, your goal would be when you're creating surface models is to have all the edges purple have a have a container that can hold water uh, there are exceptions if you have edges that lie on existing solid surfaces or they passed a solid surface so if that if this box was to pass the um, you know go below this this surface here it would have still worked because it, it basically just caps that off for you and that's how you create a solid object from surface the, the principle is you want to create a airtight water tight container so now I'll take that philosophy and use the most complex shapes you can imagine you don't really need to think of uh, uh, thickening surfaces when you're trying to convert, convert them into solids what you want to do is have a condition where you have a container a surface container that will hold water so that you can freeze that water into a solid object so what you want to do is actually utilize the merging of the surfaces to get those purple edges so anyways I don't know if this is a weird explanation but I thought it may help some people there you go